Let's start about my Don, right? Okay, what do you want to talk about my Don? Now, you are Ukrainian. Yes. Uh, from which uh, oblast? I'm from center of the country. Okay, so what is your take on the Maidan uh, situation? The whole situation. What is your uh, very briefly opinion about it? Very briefly, the whole situation is like this: We had a corrupt president who was stealing money from uh, the country. Um, and uh, the people got really sick of that and uh, they started basically protesting. The protests grew and uh, then we pushed him out of the country. He ran uh, obviously to Russia and uh, Russians tried to um, reinstate him. It didn't fucking work and we just we just moved on um, after that. So it, it's very, very short without going too much into detail. But uh, the fact that they wanted to bring him back uh, during this war, they wanted to reinstate him, speaks volumes pretty much that... During uh, this war? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had him in uh, Belarus. What? Yeah, they had him in oh, Belarus. Okay, okay. And they wanted to bring him to Kiev if they would be successful in capturing Kiev, which they weren't, obviously, because um, <laughs> reinstating Yanukovych is one of the funniest fucking things they... Their their understanding of our internet uh, of our internal politics right now is abysmal, as obviously of our the state of our military and everything else. So. Were you a participant in the Maidan coup? No, I was I was outside the country at the time. Where you where you where you been, sir? In South Africa. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I remember this affair in uh, 2014, and I was uh, visiting Ukraine in 2013 uh, in winter time, and I was visiting Chernobyl uh -huh. just as as a tourist, you know, to see the, um, you know. Yeah, I understand. It's it's like a tourist yeah, attraction. Yeah, just like a tourist, and I was uh, visiting. Kiev, uh, very briefly for like a one, two day visit. Mm -hmm. So, and I was actually really shocked at the time when 2014 Maidan coup happened. It wasn't a coup. You shouldn't, you shouldn't say that. Well, now that's important. It's important. And I know what you're talking about and you're wrong. Why? Why I'm wrong? Because why is it a coup? Explain that to me then. That American official after the incident. I know exactly what I know exactly what you're talking about. There's even American officials that were on the Maidan. But why? Why they're there? Then? Because they're supporting democratic movements all around the world. That's what well, America does. You, okay, okay, but don't you think that it's uh, messed up no or really top high American doesn't uh, matter uh, fucking Biden Biden could have helicoptered on the fucking Maidan revolution and said let's fucking kill Yanukovych and it wouldn't matter at all I, I don't think that's uh, how or Obama works. whatever <laughs> I don't think that's how yeah I understand works. I'm giving you a very uh, uh, edge case example of what w could happen <laughs> theoretically in an alternative universe and it would not change a thing so why would we give a fuck if some officials visit the fucking okay. protest that's fine that's let's absolutely talk fine. about now odessa burning wait a second let's you're jumping to a different point let's stick to the point where you're saying it's a coup that how did exactly... you equate how did you equate coup to some officials from america visiting the revolution visiting the protest that is... how does that a coup how is that a coup? Yeah. That is confirmation of the coup. No. Because Victoria Nuland and we... Are you aware of the recording of Victoria Nuland calling an official of... What America? is a coup, my guy? What is a coup? Color, lever, color revolution. Okay, it's, it's a power grab, right? Yes. Who took the power after Yanukovych? Uh, Yanukovych. Is he yeah. has any power in Ukraine now? 
No, but what exactly, Victoria my guy? Nuland it doesn't actually... matter. It doesn't matter. There was listen. A lot of people went on the protest. Friend. They they got Yanukovych out my of the country. Friend, we have a audio recording of Victoria Newland, a high official of United States, uh, telling, debating they don't want to get Klitschko in the power, and they wanted to get Yanotsuk in the power. And they did put Yanotsuk in the power. Klitschko the is, a, is a boxer who is a mayor of Kiev, and I think yes. that he shouldn't be in the power, even as yes, a mayor, but, but that's fine. But who eventually got the power? Yanotsuk got a power. Uh, how long did he have the power? Yeah, exactly, temporarily. Yeah, it, is, he, it was not long. That's fine. But so, I, for, so what? So from, what? Sorry. So, so from the United States point, it was not, um, it was not important who gets the power. Listen, if we're if we're gonna discuss with you on the stream, if we're going to discuss with you on the stream, who should take the power in Russia after Russia is gonna lose the war and Putin's gonna oh. get killed, and we're gonna say, uh, let, let's agree it's going yeah, to be, uh, um, let's agree it's going to be Navalny, and then Navalny becomes. Oh my God, Navalny! Let's let's do just. You, do you really let's, think? No, that no, no, Navalny no, no. Listen, would listen. Be better. That's fine. Uh, listen. Uh, yeah, I think it would be better. But again, oh um, the thing is, he wouldn't invade other countries, right? Literally, anyone's better than Putin. Anyway, the problem How? is. The problem is what I'm what I'm telling what I'm trying to tell you is that if we would decide on this stream that Navalny would be a better fit and then he becomes the president of Russia, can we say that we influenced the election? Don't be silly, my guy. Okay, just because somebody says that somebody they would prefer somebody instead of somebody else in the power in Ukraine, especially when Ukraine was in disarray because the whole half of the government fucking fled to Russia because we're filled with fucking Russian filth that we're fucking destroying out of our country at the moment, thanks like to Zelensky. I, 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 God bless. Immediately, I immediately caught the, your jargon, right? And I know that you are in the country which is in war now, and I feel, and I feel you, like I actually do. But you said Russian filth. Yeah. Why, Russian why, filth, why, degenerate why, subhuman scum should be wiped do you off the that? face of Ukraine. Huh? Why? Like, it makes me, that's the thing that upsets me about this why? whole situation. Why? Bro, imagine you're a Jew and somebody says uh, Nazis should be wiped off and you're like, yeah. No, but that's not... Uh, but that's not diplomacy. You can't. Have I'm not a diplomat. I don't give a fuck. All the people think like that. Like, it is. Then we have the permanent uh, state of war. No, no, it's not permanent. We're just gonna kill them all, and then they fuck off to Russia, and then we stop. Fifty, fifty-five million. Well, it's hundred million it's... people of Russians. No, no, no. Who that's the what ones? You want? The ones who are it's in Ukraine. Ridiculous. The ones who are in Ukraine. You mean Donbass? I mean Russian uh, okay, military. Then describe me. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Ukraine takes uh -huh. over, uh, wins the war. Yes. Uh, takes over. Donbass, Not takes over. Liberates. Uh, liberates Donbass, okay. uh -huh. right? Yes. What happens? What happens? What happens? It's simple. You Who the you, ethnic Russians in that region. There is no ethnic Russians in Ukraine. You either take Ukrainian passport or you leave the country. Like in every civilized country, that's exactly what happens. You cannot live in Russia with a Ukrainian passport. You cannot live in Ukraine with a Russian passport. Very simple. Interesting. Well, do you disagree? Uh Well, I mean, the reality of the situation is uh, way different. In, in what way? I spoke Russian for 29 years of my life living in Ukraine. 
I haven't been persecuted a single time. If you don't want to take Ukrainian passport and you want to stay on the territory of Ukraine, I'm sorry, my guy, you got to go. It has nothing to do with what language you speak. You want you want to stay. You have family. You have a job here. That's fine. Take up the passport and stay. Nobody's gonna persecute you. It's all fake. No, it's all not True. real. True. It's simple. And that was a de facto state of Ukraine after 2014, right? No, but because the territory. Done, because no, the territory. Sir. No, because the well, territory. Sir, I will argue you. We'll disagree the, with you. The territory of Donbass was not under Ukrainian control. They had administrations from Russia that were controlling it, especially in the Crimea as well. No. And they were paying sure. taxes to Russian uh, government. We have to be fair and say that after 2014, Maidan coup. It's not coup again. Actually, uh, Ukraine, Ukraine state. Uh, Ukraine government war on Donbass region. They didn't do that in 2015. Nope, nope, nope that's not true. Uh, Russians introduced. Nope, uh, Russians introduced their quote-unquote peacekeeping troops because they saw that they lose political control over Ukraine because Yanukovych was a uh, Kremlin puppet. He was connected to Russia. Obviously, the country that he fled to was Russia, and Russia, Russia wanted to bring him back. We all know that. You can't Actually, deny that. So, okay. So, that's cool. <laughs> so, uh, the next step is, okay, you're losing political control over Ukraine. What is, what is your next step? You, you need to establish that. You cannot establish that. You cannot return Yanukovych. It's too late for now. What can you do? Well, you need okay. to have military okay. intervention. Tell and me. that's what Russia did. Okay. Tell me what happened after 2014. Russia took Crimea, right? Yes, they took it. Yes, exactly. Yes. You're right. They took it. We we won't go into with military means about that. It's right. fine. Whatever. We can ju we whatever. can just say Russia and next what? Crimea. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Donbass. Let's focus on Donbass. Okay. What did Donbass did in 2014? Donbass people said, "Hey, uh, took us with uh, with you." Just like you did with Crimea, here's, right? here's, Does what, it happen? Okay, let me let me ask you did this. Did it happen? Which country are you from? Because I'm from Baltics. Okay, Baltics. Let's say let's say you're from Serbia. Let's just assume that. Okay. Oh, let's imagine. Okay. Let's imagine that. Um, uh, let's say you're from uh, Czech. Uh, no, what was um, Serbia before uh, it split into Serbia and uh, Kosovo? Yugoslavia. What was it? Called? Yugoslavia. Okay, let's say you're from Yugoslavia, and let's say one part of your country says we want to be separate, and the other part says yeah, nah. Yeah. Okay, you see what I'm saying? You can't do that, my guy. It just I, doesn't I, work yeah, like that. You should understand. I, yeah, I exactly. absolutely know right. what you mean. Exactly. And I actually even have a. Uh, well, I don't want to disclose where, which, from what country I am, but whatever, like. I know what you mean, and I actually uh, agree with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, is, is well then you understand my point. They can't just say uh, we are no, part I of Russia now. I agree. Right. Especially, yeah, yeah. especially when absolutely. that that part of the country, uh, there's a lot of Russian-speaking people because a lot of them are from Russia. They watch Russian sure. news that say Russia is the best, Russia sure. is the coolest. So it's kind of like Listen a slow me. process of brainwashing. So they can't really... I know, yeah. I know, okay. I know. Listen to me. Listen to my point, all right? Right. And uh, think if I uh, have a point and uh, if my point makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you that uh, there might be a point where there is a country, there's uh, ethnic groups and uh, maybe religion groups, whatever, political mm -hmm. like uh, disputes, whatever, right? There's a regions which are consolidated and those regions then think that they are autonomous mm -hmm. because they think they're autonomous, right? What, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. right? And they suddenly think that, oh, well, well, pfft, whatever look at our history look at this look at that mm -hmm. and we are autonomous and go you know whatever ukraine go f yourself russian go f yourself we are autonomous okay i got you right obviously it's nonsense right though those people may have a point 
but legally and logically that's not how world works. well it's right? true Obviously, exactly but Ukraine also was in the right oh, i'm actually on the side okay of Ukraine. okay so yes absolutely like there's no doubt that uh, uh, there was a dispute, right, between the West and East Ukraine, right? For and we can, uh, you know, talk I, about. The I I disagree that it was for, a dispute. Like, uh, listen, I disagree it was with. Not the, a dispute. It's just. I disagree uh, with was, the framing that it was a dispute between East and West because Ukraine doesn't split in East and West. Just because it's e just because it's Western of the East doesn't mean it's the West. There's a lot of people who are living in uh, territories that also are very Russian speaking: Kharkiv region, Zaporizhia region, yeah, uh, uh, Kherson true. region. All of those uh, Russian speaking regions and people there um, understand the situation to an extent to which um, after 2014, Russian peacekeeping troops, peacekeeping quotes, I'm saying, because they annexed Crimea, they basically entered and they started saying the following is there is a Ukrainian uh, Western neo-Nazis. They even started using that back then, started with Azov and Bandera and all that bullshit. They started saying that they are attacking people who speak Russian. I live in a Russian-speaking uh, um, region, and there was no such thing. And I know that for a fact, okay. because after okay, that, sir. for eight years, okay, I sir. spoke Russian, no problem. So that sir. was a lie, and then they started extrapolating from that. I can drop a link you can drop what whatever British? you want. I live here. It's real. I see it with my own eyes. You know, I don't need a video that could have been my produced. Own eyes. <laughs> You're saying you have I a video. I saw the Azov fighters, man. What are you talking about? Azov? I saw with yeah. my own eyes. <laughs> yes. Azov, Azov real. Fighters. Azov fighters SS are real. Symbols. Well, okay. Let's talk about that. So, uh, do you believe that they do anything that Nazis do? What do you mean? Like Azov? Da. Obviously, yeah. they're neo-Nazis. Uh, okay, do, what do they do that Nazis do? What they do? Yeah, what do they actually do that Nazis would do? Do they uh, do, they do like, uh, do they kill Jews? Do they hate Jews? Do they... Uh, no. Yeah? Uh, okay, so what do they do? <sighs> we have to understand that a neo-Nazi trained a military man, which is a neo-Nazi, right? Is, is he doesn't Azov give a listen. shit about Russia. He doesn't give a fuck about Ukraine. That's not true. He doesn't Azov? give a fuck do you know, about... Do you know, okay, Jews where does the name or Azov come Chinese from? Chinese or Russians. Where does Azov come from, the he name? He only cares about himself. Well, let's let's talk about a battalion. We're talking about battalion, not individual fighters, yeah. right? Which was incor incorporated in... Uh, Ukrainian armed forces. Okay. Let's be real. Let's, let's be honest about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That I know Azov Battalion was integrated into... Yeah, I know. It's, I, I don't have yeah. any problem with that. Yeah, that's why are they? fucked up, right? Why, no, I have absolutely no problem with that. Why are they called Azov? Let's start from that. <laughs> How do you have no problem? Because, because I don't... Nazis because... <laughs> being integrated because that's into your... armed forces because what that's your problem that, that's like, that's your problem because you think they're neo-nazis i just disagree with that no okay okay let that's I have the a only video. thing i can drop a video bro you can now. drop me a whole fucking documentary 2000, produced. 2000 it doesn't it doesn't matter you, i don't know where that I, video came from uh, what if from i telegraph uh, from british media from british media here's the thing i question for you why does that matter? It does matter. Why? It's one battalion. We have like let, hundreds let something of them. If you will give me... Uh, like I will tell you a story, right? I don't want a story. We're here to debate. You So far, you just no. agreed with everything that I said. Why it's... do you think 1990... Uh, okay, fine. Uh, what do you think about 9-11, um, for example? Well, I don't think about where do you, it. Where do you think uh, Al-Qaeda was born from? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because 
don't you think that those extremist radicals are supported by somebody and sponsored well, I by re somebody? I really don't care. Well, you should care. Why? Because as of I have a war battalion, in my country, don't I should care about As that? of Battalion uh -huh. was, was uh -huh. a group called Right Sector. Yes, that is true. Yeah, well, they're like kind of there's right sector, there's yeah. Azov, but they're all kind of. Who funded yeah, them? Who funded them? Uh, if you, <laughs> bro, if you would look at the videos, how well and they were equipped in 2014, I don't think that anyone funded them. What purpose they served? They fought in Mariupol no. in 2014. They were served by CIA. No, 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 no. They let's fought. Be, let's they be fought. Fair. Let's be fair. They they fought Russians in 2014 in Mariupol, and they protected. There's literally videos of the same protected guy. by killing ethnic Ukrainians no, and Russians. No, they weren't killing ethnic Ukrainians and Russians because okay. people who people who pro I were protecting that you Mariupol. Don't give a fuck about Russians. No, um, they also killed Ukrainians. They were killing Russian occupiers back in 2014 and 15, and that's what they Russian did in 2022. In Donbass? Yes, yes, because after Ukraine Crimea, talk, uh, listen, so, even even Putin admitted that. Come on, guy, you can't be you can't be you can't be serious right now. So after Crimea, because it seems like you don't know the chronology of things that happened after Maidan. And Russia annexed Crimea without much fighting, uh, because they had a lot of a lot of spies and a lot of people who were pro Kremlin in Crimea. Uh, they took up Crimea and they were like, "Oh shit, it was so easy. Let's take more." So they so they went to the east of Ukraine. They were Bro. sorry, man. You yeah, were, they were introducing. They were introducing. No, there was Russian like military equipment. No, they were. That is not how that how did they works. shut the, how did they shut down MH seventeen, or was it MH fourteen? I'm sorry. How do they shut that down? No, you With know what? why Russians took Crimea? Yeah, because we had a because political conflict. Because it was conflict. easy. Because it was Russian. Okay, you know why <laughs> Russians stopped after Donbass? No. Because they, Donbass because they were stopped. Want Ukraine. No, Donbass because they were stopped. Want Ukraine. It, 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 no. We already established with you that it doesn't work like that. MH17, yeah, right. True. It doesn't work True. like that. You're, so, yeah. So, right. again, so you cannot deny that there was Russian presence in the east of the country when in 2014 an MH17 plane was shut down with a Russian book missile that just regular people couldn't have access to. There was Russian military presence on the eastern uh, side of Ukraine, which is exactly the tactics that they did in, um, in um, uh, the wars in Chechnya which they were sponsoring the groups inside and they were introducing, giving them equipment as well as introducing Russians who would train them and who would command them and who would, uh, you know, have that stuff. So would uh, uh, do all of that point, shit. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, it's a known tactic and they've been, they've been doing that even further back, but that's besides the point. And they were stirring up the conflict. I literally had people in my chat that were from, uh, from those areas in 2014 that had to fle flee because they saw all of a sudden just little green men showing up here and there and saying that Ukraine is shit, they want to kill Russians, and anyone who speaks Russian is Russian to them, which was not mm. true. We weren't, okay. we didn't want to kill How any Russians. About, okay, I will push back. I have to push back on you. You, you have can, to but... cut, you, cut you off and push back because there is Ukrainian law that was passed before the war, before the war, to ban Russian language in schools. Uh, so explain that to me. Yeah, I'll explain it to explain you. Explain how e that. I'll explain that to you works. very easily. As an autonomous country, you can do. No. Yes. No. Yes. As a democracy, as a. What the fuck cannot, are you talking? We have a we have cannot. a language. It's called Ukrainian. Speak Ukrainian. Hello, you live yes. in Ukraine. America, United States of America, the beacon of democracy. Okay. Have uh, uh, national language of English. Okay. They, they teach not, English in schools. Absolutely. Yeah. They do not discriminate. Yeah, but I, I, excuse me, ethnic. excuse me. What concerns banning Russian in government owned schools as a mandatory subject? If you want to go to a private school and learn Russian, you can. Just like just like German, French, and whatever but the fuck you want. it is not advised, right? 
This is not advised. What do you mean by it's not advised? You can learn, in quotes. You can learn Russian if you want, but nobody would because it's filth language, right? It is a filth language, I agree. Do you understand that Russian and Ukrainian is basically the same language with an accent? You're, because you're actually retarded <laughs> because I speak both languages. How can you tell me that? How can you so convince me that? Can you agree? Can you agree that every Russian just just pick a random Russian, okay. right? Uh, let's and, uh, uh, I want to I want to say something on your point of schools. You can understand every Russian. Here's the thing. Uh, well, I spoke Russian for the most of my life. Here, here's the question for okay. you. Did Russians have your Ukrainian school. language in their schools? In in what Sorry, I missed that. Did Russian schools have a Ukrainian language as a subject? No. Okay, well, fuck them know. then. Actually, I actually... Well, you're actually not wrong. They didn't, in, I don't, obviously. I don't live in Russia. Yeah, but they don't. So, because, so fuck them. So why should no. we? But that's fair. Point. You should agree. Yeah, that's fair. fair. Yeah. But it wasn't, again, it wasn't banned. I, I told you that I spoke Russian... Uh, after that, for I, I just switched to Ukrainian when the war started. It even didn't even switch. I actually, I actually sh think that I should be more prepared. Maybe, actually, I don't know that. Uh, what is the second language in Russian schools? I don't think they have. I think it's just like what Russian English, right? Well, or... they started canceling English out of it because uh, hating the West and stuff like well, that. Well, now obviously. Yeah, but it's fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, but, but f from what I gather, because I know that Russian language and Ukrainian language is very similar. There are similarities, but Russians do not similar. understand. Here's the thing. Russians do not no, understand Ukrainian. No, do not bullshit me. That's true. They don't. You understand a Russian speaker. No, no, no. Speaker. Russians, well. Russians don't understand Ukrainian. That, that is nonsense. That is true. That dismantles your argument. That is absolutely true. They do not I... understand Ukrainian. That's like saying that Ukrainians understand Polish. I understand some of it. Can I like speak it and can I read it? Nope. Did you know that there was a thing? Uh, there's a word that we they use. They have some, the same dialect, the same alphabet, the same word. It is, same, yeah, it's same like, alphabet. But Belarusian language is also different. They use the same alphabet. But the question is, uh, why okay, would Ukrainian, okay. why would Ukrainian Bel authorities use Ukrainian words to Sir, check so if you're Belarusians, Ukrainian? Belarusians speak uh -huh. Belarusian or Russian? Well, they now they speak Russian because of a lot of influence, but oh, they still so have a language it, of Belarusia. Yeah, it's, it's Belarusian. They have it. Belarusian is not a language. Well, they have it. What is you it speak called? Speak Russian, man. No, no, no. That's not true. They have their own language. No, oh, man. That's. What so are you talking about? A country doesn't that's... have their own language. Do you have your own language in your country? Uh, no. We are <laughs> occupied by United States. We are talking now only in English. Only in English. English actually, actually, Americans are now suppressing our schools. I really don't believe that, but that's fine. And obviously, it's not. You know, obviously. Okay, so so what's your what's your argument uh, that okay? So I told you that uh, I'm just I'm just, tell, I just so listen. Let's point that let's let's have a summary. You people are the, right. the 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 lingo point, right? It's bullshit. For Russians, Come on. Uh, for Ukrainians banning Russian language is uh, nonsensical. It is nonsense. Yeah, absolutely. It's bullshit. Yeah, it didn't. It, why, it, did, why? it shouldn't matter. Neither Russians, neither Ukrainians should ban Ukrainian or Russian language. Well, it, nobody banned it. Banned people. it. They, they, Why they just. Why are you doing this kind of nobody, scummy thing? Listen, nobody Why banned Ukraine it. Ukraine did that. Nobody banned they, it. That. Can you listen they to did. me? They nobody did. banned it. You could speak Russian. You could learn it, but not from the official school program. And also, you're asking a Which very stupid up, question. Kind of absolutely not fucked up you're asking a very stupid question is how could you hate russia because they're fucking invaded our country and killing people are you brain dead bro um 
Look. Come on, it's a very simple thing to understand, right? Somebody invades your country, kills your okay. people, and bombs your cities. Fuck them. It's fair. Look. You disagree? So you are... Your whole moral stance is that, is this. And I think the most Ukrainian, pro-Ukrainian people are thinking like this, is uh, that Russia is this big land, this... Um, I don't know, post-Soviet. I think they are communists, right? Whatever. Mm, they're communist. not communists. Authoritarian, whatever. Okay. Uh, with this evil guy, Putin, right? Okay. Which is just woke up one day and invaded a sovereign country. With no, with there's no reason. No, there's... Uh... There was no reason to invade Ukraine. There was no, absolutely no reason. No, no, no. The, they... There are... Wait, wait, wait. There are reasons to do anything. I mean, oh. if somebody kills your wife, they might have reasons for that. You might disagree with them. They might have reasons. Yeah. Maybe she fucking... So, she's a bitch, you know? But the thing is, his, his reasons are degenerate. He wants to control... He wants to recreate Soviet Union... Countries left I, Soviet Union for a reason. They didn't like it. It was cringe. Look, I'm talking now from Baltic perspective, right? Okay. Because Baltic uh, countries are taking a hardcore stance. I think if it, if you Ukrainians uh, get us into World War Three, right? I think. How can you have a different. world war think, with a country that is no, shit? Wait, wait. I I think that uh, the Lithuanian government is authoritarian enough to get me in world war free get i me in the don't front. understand what you're saying <laughs> well well you i saw videos of ukrainian S, uh, sbu you should uh, not worry about them. that you're not gonna be in the war we're why why should i not worry because about we're that? killing I'm we really we, worry about that don't worry about it we're <laughs> killing russians just fine on our own just give us the guns so and will, we're gonna do it so i should <laughs> count on Ukraine to kill all the Russians. So oh, we're Ukraine doing pretty good no job. And invading no one okay. is oh. going to start World War Three. Why would we start World War Three if we're not gonna cross the border? Uh, how? What about in the case if you're kind of losing the war? But we're not though. We're not losing though, right? Russians have well, less territory just, that they had in, in the beginning. Just in case. Just in case. Uh huh. Hypothetically. Hi hypothetical. Uh huh. Uh, let's think about this just in case if Ukraine losing the war and now that NATO and the European Union is so invested in this war uh -huh. so maybe do you really Ukraine think that Russia has the capability have... to fight NATO uh, Russia Russia NATO capability do you think that Russia has the capability to fight NATO uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, exactly. That's my truly, point. Don't truly, I don't it. think so. Don't worry about it. But they I, have nukes. Yeah, but they but they're not gonna use nukes because NATO also has nukes. You know, that's kind of cancels it out. That's though. Well, that's the thing. Russia also not gonna use and nukes because they have bro bro let, politicians. Let me give you an example. <laughs> Listen, just just for a second, politicians that can the capa that have the p p possibility to press the buttons have kids okay. in fucking Europe living imagine <laughs> you are chill, United bro. States of imagine you are uh, uh, you are Russia or whatever uh huh United States of America or Russia right okay and you are invaded whatever in the war it doesn't matter it's a war and you are getting yourself beaten right hard okay. and you are losing the war and your people get slaughtered and you are losing the <laughs> war in all fronts. Russia doesn't give a fuck about their people dying, but that's fine. Sure. Doesn't matter. Whatever. What do you think the uh, last resort is? They will here's what here's exactly what's gonna it, happen. Here I will I will tell you exactly what's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen, and you will see it unfold in front of you. Because I've been right from the day one of this war, okay? Uh, Russia is going to say, 
oh, we actually achieved all our all our goals. We denazified, de-weaponized whatever Ukraine. Ukraine is never going to attack us. And we agreed. We struck some deals. We're going to remove the army and uh, whatever. Territories are fine. They're not going to persecute Russian-speaking population. They're not going to kill anyone. It's all good. Because they know it's all bullshit. They're just going to pull out and they will lick their wounds. And that's it. That's exactly what's going to happen. They will sell with their propaganda machine that they won everything, achieved every every goal, and that's it. Because they know we're not going to cross the border and invade Russia. So. Man, for you, it's already World War Three, right? <laughs> well, no, not really, but... Uh... Right? But for me... Our, uh, Why are you so European? worried about it? Donate more money what? to the, our military. Why should I be Give us more. Give us more weapons, then. No, no. Why no. not? Bro. That's not fair. Why? What do you mean it's not fair? Invading other it countries is not, is not fair. fair either. Hey, what if we invade your country, Ukraine? Give us more weapons. Would you hate you us? What do you mean about... No, I don't... I don't hate. No, I mean, what if Ukraine invaded your country? Would you hate us? Ukraine? Yeah. Well, Ukraine, I would argue, invaded Poland. Well, no, not right now. But I'm saying, if you saw me on across the battlefield with a five fucking... million refugees, man, I think you are uh, successfully invaded Poland. <laughs> That's fine. They they're they're okay with that. Basically, the same country, right? Uh, no, nah, Polish people are very different. Very... Why? But you you said that Russians or Ukrainians are very similar. Might as well include Poland in that. Nah. No, Poland yeah. different. That's interesting. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah. what I'm saying is, uh, support your government that supports Ukraine. If they support Ukraine, no. support them. No. And we're going to kill Russians. Not true. If we're going to kill Russians even faster, my guy, you wouldn't even worry about this. Why? That's what, that's what my problem is about. This <laughs> Why? Is, and you should know that my, my, my father. But you don't want to go to war. Sir, no, my father served in the Russian army. In the Soviet army. Okay, in the Soviet army. My grand yeah. grandfather was... Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. He was very proud of it and all of that, oh. you know. Russian okay. army. That's cringe. Tough that's dudes fine. and all of that, right? And no substance. My, uh, my mom was al uh, always uh, very supportive of... Um, Just as a woman Soviet should do Union, support the you man, know, right? whatever. And then revolution happened. Lithuanian uh -huh. people, Estonian people, uh, Latvian people started to think that uh, Soviet Union is taking away their culture. True, it was. By suppressing speech, True. by suppressing... Uh, Look at Russia banning, now. By banning books, by banning uh, yes. language, by, uh, by banning speakers, uh -huh. by banning... Uh, uh, poets, whatever. It did. Right? It did. Do Ukraine, you recognize that it did? But how come you don't realize that Ukraine does this right now to Russian people? Well, that's fine. How come you don't understand? Go live in Russia. No, it We're is our not own separate fine. country. Now look at America. The big don't talk about speech. America. Don't talk about America. We no, are Ukrainians. Listen, I am Ukrainian. America. I don't want Russia fight in my country. With American guns, bro. You so what? So we not only should talk about America. America should be on top of. No, America. America is just like a shop, bro. If I go to a shop no, and I buy an no. ice cream, and I, and I tell NATO, you I like ice cream, what does it have anything to do with the NATO? fuck I bought it? NATO is eighty-five percent America, ten percent Turkey, and rest europe who uh, listen why we're discussing the culture now i'm telling you i'm ukrainian i think russian culture should stay in russia and ukrainian in ukraine that's fine lithuanian culture in lithuania lithuanian etc etc look at shit russia now it's fucking shit if fucking people shit in holes no, my guy no, you don't want to be there you want to be there? Well, move there. They're going to take you in. I know you hate it. I know you hate it. And I feel you. Why We're you taking a shit on them right it. now. But I think it's a wrong approach. That's the problem that I, I have think that's fine. with Ukrainians. 
And I totally understand Ukrainians. Bro, if I was on the front line in front, in front of you, if I, I was on the which if, is, listen, if I was in, in oh on the front line in front of you, pointing my gun at you, would you not hate me? Pointing your gun at me. Yeah, let's imagine Ukraine invades you your country. That? I'm not that bad. Let's imagine Ukraine invades the country and you see me across the battlefield fucking sniping your friends to fucking dust, okay? I will shoot you. Okay, you will you will hate me too, right? No, I will shoot you. Oh, you won't hate me? Come on, you're not a fucking saint. You will hate me, and that's fine. That's normal. It's normal. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's exactly that's... what Ukrainians do. They hate Russians because that... they're killing us. Yes, absolutely. That's why that's fair. I kind of want to be sympathetic to Ukrainians, but I can't because you guys are deliberately lying with no reason. Lying about what? That's what about everything, about the Azov battalion, about the neo-Nazi coup in 2014, like... I we just agreed, just admit, bro. Just we, admit you agreed that with me on everything. What concerns no, the dude. yes, you agreed. You said that the president was corrupt. That we were in the he right. Was corrupt. Yeah, he, exactly. He, he That's was a corrupt president. People can choose. People can choose. We chose him. We chose him to Absolutely. elect him. We chose him to depose him. Very, very easy. Not a, not a coup. It was not an anything. Azov okay. also okay. five hundred okay. people okay. in a forty Democrat. million country. Come on, man. Okay. Let's be Democrat real. Democrat Ukraine. Then why not wait one year and uh, vote him out? We you voted him out. Coup. You need a change right he, now. He was he was voted out. He was a Ukrainian Donald Trump, but Ukrainians are more persistent. Well, don't no, not really. He wasn't Do Ukrainian Donald Trump. He was actively stealing money from our country. Yeah. Yeah, that's don't you what think Zelensky that's a problem? What Zelensky is doing now? <laughs> Zelensky giving, is not giving. stealing money, right. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. You're he's not stealing. okay, bro. We're just we're just looping. We we you also you agreed with my previous points, and then you just simply threw everything away, and you said, no, 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 it's a coup, it's a Nazi regime. Come on, man. This okay, is okay, 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 okay. Let's talk about Klitschko, right? Uh, Kiev uh, mayor. Kiev mayor, right? yeah, okay. Where did he get his wealth? from he's the in your opinion he's the by world being a uh, awesome boxer yeah he's do you know how much money they oh God, don't <laughs> bro dude the fucking what's his name this uh this boxer who's the champion right now he literally gets hundreds of millions of dollars for a match for one match and klitschko was the world champion for several years million. yeah they get 100 mil that's crazy i know but it's true he has it a fucking is private unbelievably plane. Unbelievably insane. It, it is insane. So don't worry about it. He got all his money just punching people. True, true. I will give him that. His face looks like... He's a good boxer. But I, I don't know boxer. if he's a Let's good Let's just politician. say he's a good boxer. Okay, yeah, uh, listen. I agree let's, with that. Let's, let's... Let's why finish. why is uh, a boxer in the uh, mayor position? Like hey, why is this a thing even? People vote for in that in Ukraine. Why you can elect your mayor? People, he was popular. Why rich people have a like a? We have a bunch of mayors that are not rich. What's your point? Sure. Uh, true. What? <laughs> okay. Tell me, name me one mayor which is not rich and awesome. Uh, mayor that is not rich. Mayor of my city is not rich, but I cannot leak my city. I'm not leaking okay, that. You can leak it. No. I'm I not. promise I won't uh, give intelligence to Russia. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not leaking. Oh, for example, a good, a good uh, example is, um, uh, well, Vitaly Kim is not a mayor of uh, Mykolaiv. He's the head of the region of military administration, but. Uh, He's a moderate, so he must be scared out of his pants now. Vitaly Kim uh, is not. So that Zelensky won't sack saying. him. No, Z Zelensky. Zelensky is a really cool guy. I am no. very proud you that I voted for him. You know what Zelensky is, in my opinion. I voted for him. I know who he is. Actually, I am not. You can thank me. You can thank me for making Zelensky a real thing. I did it. Yeah, dude, bro, you would be. The thing is that. 
I will want to to get in touch with you after the war, right? Uh huh. And what your feel will be after? I'm the gonna war. be sipping on because cocktail in Crimea. Uh, glorious. It and will be glorious. The, the thing is that Zelensky will do for you. Uh huh. There's nothing. There's Bro, Zelensky. Nothing. Zelensky is doing already. So he did. He did so much already. He doesn't even need to do anything after he wins the you war. You do realize he's a media person and not a politician. Oh, he's a great politician. Everyone's giving him weapons. He goes to different countries. The whole fucking parliament yes. applaud him. How is that not yes, a great politician? Who applauds Russia? Nobody. Politicians, all of them. Well, who applauds well, them? I will tell Nobody. you who applauds Russia. Uh, Russia is applauded by the whole of Africa. Wow. Uh, most of Asia. Mm, and without even China. South America. Wow. Very big wings. So how about that? How about so how, how about Lavrov? How about I can explain? How about how a video? About Lavrov how about Lavrov sitting in India and getting laughed at? How about that? In where? In where? where in India. Lavrov? Do you not? Did you not see the clip? He was on the. He was in India on the summit, and he was saying, uh, "War that Ukraine started," and everyone fucking laughed at him. You didn't see that clip? Yeah, bro, link it in chat right now. People are gonna link it to you and right you can now, click it. Chat, it's chat. fucking funny, bro. It's fucking funny. Oh anyway, I, uh, a I lot of politicians want to I don't even want to read your chat because I it's probably just <sighs> It's okay. The uh, you can just you can just uh Google like India I Lavrov Lab. Oh, there you go. There's it's... a link. Click it. Oh, okay, okay. So funny. Uh, I'll watch this clip on stream too. Ellie so on the end. You know, uh, the war uh, which uh, we are trying to stop and which was launched against us using the Ukraine, <laughs> U Ukrainian people, uh, of course, Every it time, so influenced, funny. influenced, influenced uh, the uh, policy of that Russia, not including a energy policy. Real clip, man. It is real clip. It's from the it Telegraph. Bro, it you said you clip. told me. Wait, Bro. you told me that Telegraph <laughs> said that Azov are Nazis, and now you're telling me that Telegraph posts is, fake clips. Fake you're clip. bro, you're full of shit. Okay, we're over. Done. Bo goodbye, my man. Jesus, what a fucking loser, dude. I can't believe this. He even called Telegraph. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the reason I ended this is because it's very fucking late anyway, and we were just going over and over and over again. I, I don't want to do that. Oh, man, he said that the Telegraph... No, don't ban him. That's fine. He was respectful. He was respectful. My sources, My that, sources I made it that, that I made up. it the fuck up. Listen, he was respectful. He My didn't... My sources that I made it the fuck Stop! up. Stop! My it, sources that I made it the fuck up. You're all fucking degenerate. Uh, he was respectful. He didn't. Uh, he didn't insult anyone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So do not ban him unless he starts some bullshit and chat on Discord, whatever. That's fine. No rules are broken. Don't ban him. That's fine. But it's very funny that I. I just think that it's a very funny thing that he said that Telegraph posted uh he said that he said the telegraph posted about azov being nazis therefore it equals true and now i'm giving uh, by the way whoever linked this from telegraph is the man okay and now i'm giving him a telegraph clip and he says it's fake Bro, get, get the fuck out of here, dude. They want to cope. Also, it's so weird that he agreed to everything that I was talking about. And and then he literally and then he literally just said all that was fake and bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? You're brainwashed. You can't. You're not having you're having a conversation in good faith, but it's like you don't you don't remember anything we discussed. You're like just, oh, I agree, I agree, I agree, and then nothing nothing happens after that. It's silly. It's just silly.